Welcome. I'm glad you're joining in this time for prayer, this time in which we gather specifically to pray for the needs and the joys of, of our local uh, congregation and, and far beyond. I was talking with some of my friends in the northern part of the state earlier this week, and they had frost warnings. Ooh, it's coming, and of course we know that frost will come also for us. And I'm remembering that in when we have a frost warning um, in, in the forecast, we, well, mostly Jill, uh, we cover up those uh, those plants in the garden. And, and I'll bring out the drop claws from the, the, the uh, garage, and Jill uh, hangs them about and around uh, all sorts of various plants, hoping that we can extend the growing season just a little bit more. And, and I always think that the garden looks like this giant patchwork quilt when she's done. It's amazing to me how much difference just this thin covering of cloth can make. Even when the temperature drip, dips several degrees below freezing, this skinny layer of fabric protects the plants and allows them to survive. It doesn't take much. I have always been surprised. And I've learned that the same can be true for wildlife. I've heard of fawns, newly born, uh, left by their mothers. Um, and the, the doe will often leave the fawn um, for several hours, just a little while after giving birth. And the advice from wildlife ants, experts is to say to take pictures and to watch, but leave these newborn deer alone. They will be fine. Indeed, they are tough. And, and in our time and place, we're often taught to be tough. We're, we're taught to be uh, strong. We're, we're, we can survive with just a little bit of help. Um, I've often heard it expressed as pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. And that's certainly true. And yet the good news of the Bible is that we don't need to be alone. We don't need to do it by ourselves. We don't need to manage on our own. Paul writes in the First Thessalonians, he says, Gently encourage the stragglers and reach out for the exhausted, pulling them to their feet. Be patient with each person, attentive to individual needs. Now, that's not an excuse for laziness, but the recognition is we depend upon each other. We don't need to go it alone. We have each other. Now, sometimes we are the helper. Sometimes we are the help e. And unlike plants and wildlife, we don't have to be tough. We have a church family. We have each other who walks with us. And we help each other as we journey together down this path of faith. Thanks be to God. As we move into a time of prayer, several prayer requests that I'll pass along. Uh, uh, prayers, continued prayers for Lisa Lewandowski and her family. Uh, she remains hospitalized, so prayers for her. Um, prayers for, uh, as I call it, an upside down world and how we might be God's people in the midst of this topsy turvy world. And then we'll pray for our leaders, both in the church and in uh, our leadership, our political leadership in this uh, state and in this country. When we're done with, when I'm done with the pastoral prayer, I'm going to invite you to join with me and together we will pray the Lord's Prayer to close this time of prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you took ordinary bread, you blessed, you broke, and you gave it to hungry hearts and bodies. We are glad today that you will take today's living into your hands to bless, to open, and to use it to nourish hungry hearts and needy lives. Grant us the vision to see and receive all things from your holy hands. When, one, when what is available seems inadequate, multiply it. When another's needs seem to overwhelm and consume us, prompt us to be with them and give of ourselves by the power of your Spirit. When all around us appears to be in chaos, yes, chaos, 
pattern our perceptions with your way of taking, blessing, breaking, and giving what is needed. Where we are prudish and feastless, break open our hearts to receive with thanksgiving all good things around us. When we are tempted to see worship and world as separate realms, say again to us, you give them something to eat. Remembering your life within and among us, we give ourselves to others. We remember these names and situations that we now bring before you. May we move in your name among these dear ones. Use us to be your arms and legs to show your love. Specifically, we remember Lisa Lewandowski and her family. We remember this upside-down world and how we ask that you show us how we might be your people in this topsy-turvy time. We remember our leaders in our church, locally, and throughout the world. We remember our leaders in our government, our local representatives, our, our national representatives, our president, and others in positions of authority. We remember now in the silence those burdens and those joys that we carry in our hearts. Let us close our prayer by praying together as we have been taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining together in this time of prayer. As we prepare to leave this time together and go out into the world, go with these words of blessing. Go out knowing that we have heard the words of life. Go out knowing that these words are written on your heart. Go out in peace and serve the Lord. Amen. See you soon.